I'll just replace it with this guy here. Mm -hmm. Now we got that bridge line snugged up. You just kind of pump the lever and as you pump it, you can see we get a bunch of air bubbles. Air always tries to escape us. <laughs> Oh, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here. Welcome to season four of the new bike build series. This season, we're taking this brand new 2018 Yamaha R1M. And with the help of our channel sponsors, we're gonna turn this bike into something really breathtaking and amazing. At the end of the build series, we are giving this bike away to one of you people viewing the video. Information on how you can be the fifth person to win a motorcycle from the 650 Eve YouTube channel is in the description. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap that bell so you can be notified when new content is uploaded. In today's video, we're going to continue on with the awesome Brembo braking system additions. Zach, what the heck are we doing? I can't believe we're already on bike number five. That's great. Uh, is that something? Um, we are gonna get the front master cylinder installed and the rest of our carbon fiber brake lines. So we're gonna start with that, I think. We'll go back here and we have to change out these two lines. They come in the kit, might mm -hmm. as well do it. Maybe it's part of getting the best feel that we can do. Yeah. Even though they're not gonna be visible once the bike's all together. Mm -hmm. uh, these ones are all pre-formed at the factory, so we don't have to worry about it. it. Looks like one's a little longer than the other one. Okay. And I would say this one here would be the longer one. It looks like but it. we gotta deal with, deal with another block here and some more of these mm -hmm. nice steel fittings, which were so easy up front. At least this time we can see what we're doing. Yes. So that's a bonus. Clearly. So I guess we'll just jump into it. Let's get going. All right. Got yeah, much brake fluids back here. Oh yeah. I don't know if there's gonna Should be any. Should have your cloth? Not. I don't know. I don't think there's gonna be too much. Yeah, no, there's not. That's good. Okay, cool. Well, that was way easier than the front, so that's mm -hmm. nice. Like you said, the fact that you can see this yeah. is really, probably really helping. And I can fit the wrenches in there. We'll just replace it with this guy here. Mm -hmm. List the bottom one back here, thread it in. Again, we'll just snug everything up until it's all in place and then do final tightening. Always want to replace these washers. Okay. So that you don't have any leaks when you're finished. These are the aluminum banjo bolts, so we only want to go to 10 Newton meters. Okay. We found when we were doing the front. Different size though than the front. All right. So that was the second part of our front brake line install. Yes. Now we can move up to the third and final part. Bleeding? The line from the master cylinder and ah. changing the master cylinder. Okay. Definitely worked out well that we have the front of the motorcycle apart while doing this. Oh, heavens yes. I mean, you could probably work around that, but it's just even more in the way. We're just waiting for some new switch gear to come in and then we'll work on getting our awesome triple trees that we have from IMS installed and uh, longer handlebars or clip-ons oh, cool. installed also. Yeah. So I'm not going to be too worried about how this master cylinder fits up there, as long as it's kind of on, just for the time being. It's coming right back off. modification that makes the motorcycle so much faster. Took the front brakes off. Yeah, I was wondering, <laughs> what the heck? What part are we doing brakes today? Yep. Yeah, if yeah, you can't stop, you are going faster. <laughs> For a little bit at least. Just gotta disconnect these wires here. Something different too, our BMW bike uses a pressure sensor for a brake light switch. This uses an old button style. Well, now we have the Brembo logo. Yup, because we have a Brembo master cylinder. 
there's a little dot on your stock clip-ons if you're using them you just line that up with the crease and that was the same about the same height of where that factory lever, lever was okay so we'll just snug this up for now uh it comes with its own brake light switch so what we're gonna do i don't know if we're gonna probably not gonna address it today just because these handlebars aren't staying in this location so i don't know how much wire we'll need yeah but we're just gonna cut these wires and we'll just solder this eh or we'll use uh actually what i'll probably do is put spade connectors on this and then we'll clip it in that way if you do want to take it off you could take it off if it were soldered that'd be a pain so yep yeah we'll just use two spade connectors connected to the factory wiring and that'll make our brake light work again Same stuff, dot four is dot four for the most part. Start the farthest point, which is this caliber. Suck the brake fluid through. as you pump it you can see we get a bunch of air bubbles air always tries to escape up just like the cooling system and as i pump the lever the fluid level is dropping so that just means it's filling up all the space that where the brake fluid didn't get sucked through by the vacuum bleeder so we're just going to go through and do this until it stops sucking fluid in and then we'll go to all the bleeders and bleed it by hand so we'll go back over to our far caliper and just start bleeding it by hand what's in our hose down there a bunch of air uh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. So I like to just open the fitting and then push the fluid through slowly until we can get rid of all the air bubbles. And then, just for good measure, go back where you started and make sure we don't see any air bubbles. Sometimes you'll catch a couple air bubbles at the beginning and the end, and that's just because it's sucking air from around the bleeder screw. But there we go, that time there was none. So that should be good. Very nice. And then with our Brembo setup, it stays right there every time. It's not a change of sometimes when they're hot, it breaks out here, sometimes mm -hmm. it's in farther. So that's a nice thing. I don't even know which uh, setting we were on. You can see it actually moved the lever. Yeah. So this one's probably more progressive. Let's give it a test. You can hear the brake pads are already a lot closer to the rotor. And we have front brakes. Nice. Cool. Lever feels good. Uh, if we have a chance, maybe we'll try to get it by a Yamaha dealership just to do that ABS test, just because yeah. I'd be curious to see if it passes or not. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of tests to make sure that there's no air inside the box. I'd imagine since our lever feels good, we're probably all right. Yes. But just to be on the safe side. Uh, yeah, so now we have a complete, completely upgraded front brake system. Yeah. Uh, Brembo master cylinder, Brembo calipers, Brembo rotors. And then we have the carbon fiber. Brake lines. Yeah, Fen tubo brake lines that uh, they fit very well. It made it, it does, it does kind of make this job easier, even though it was a pain to get the brake lines on, mm -hmm. uh, just because of the different fittings for the master cylinder. Okay. The only thing we'd have to do, and we'll finish it up at a later point, is uh, put some spade connectors on instead of these, so we could just plug in our brake light switch. Yeah. But we'll show that at some other point. I think that's a good breaking point for today. I think <laughs> so. <laughs> Not to be funny. Yeah. But, uh, breaking point, yeah. Awesome, Zach. The bike looks right great, along. man. Yeah. You're brilliant for always figuring these things out and getting these bikes put together. Yeah, sometimes it's not uh, just simple bolt-on like it should be, but hey, as long as we get it done and it looks good. Yeah. 
I like the brake lines. They don't stick out too much. I like them too. The fact that the carbon fibers bragging rights my yeah. neck of the woods. For sure. <laughs> Even under the seat here. Change those ones. No leaks yeah. back there. No. Nope. Another thing you want to double check, but it looks all nice and dry. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. Uh, yeah. Next time we'll probably move on to the rear. We got some rear brake lines to put on. So they match the front, and then we got some rear sets to install. Yes. And then I think we'll dive into those triple trees and uh, hopefully handlebars. We'll have all the parts we need, and we'll be moving right along. Heck yeah, we'll man. Close to button it back up and see what it looks like. We haven't seen it together for such a I long know, time. I know. I'm excited. Oh, we got to get the carbon fiber painted. The yes. uh, patrons have voted, and Is they it? want they want, it, they want everything painted. All right, awesome. <sighs> So we'll we got to get those that. over to King David. Yep, we got to get that over today with our paint scheme ideas and see if he can pull it off for us. I'm sure he'll be able to. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a great finished product. So stick around. Make sure you get over to Patreon and uh, enjoy. Everyone have a good day. Thanks, Zach, man. All right, he's awesome. This bike is going to look outstanding once it's all put back together. But before that, we have more modifications to do to your outstanding one-of-a-kind 2018 Yamaha R1M. There is not another R1M like this in the world, I can proudly say. And this bike's gonna be even more breathtaking than it is right now. Full Brembo braking system is installed and it looks great and it stops great too. We're gonna to put that to the test once we put this bike on the road here real soon. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap the bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. The bike is looking outstanding. It's braking really awesome right now with the full Brimble braking system. Next up, we got some more work to do to the motorcycle to make it even more of an outstanding bike than it already is. This is a one of a kind Yamaha R1M. There isn't another one like it in the world. All right, guys, thanks so much for viewing the new bike build series. We'll catch you next time. You guys, take care.